Hey hi, welcome to my channel. Today in this session, we are going to see how we can do scaffolding in .NET Core 6.0 with Entity Framework Core. I have already created a bunch of videos on Entity Framework Core. I will give the links on the video description. Please check it out. Before starting the session, guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And ring the bell icon for future notifications. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Give me your comments and suggestions below in the comment box. It will encourage me a lot. Let's get started. So, what is scaffolding? Scaffolding is in ASP.NET Core is a technique used to generate code at design time to support a number of common application scenario like CRUD operations when working with Entity Framework Core. It also are the NuGet package and also available the tools. So you can do manually also. So in my previous sessions, I already show how to do manually. If you want to follow, please go through the video description. You can find the links. So today we are going to do how to do automated scaffolding. For that I am using Visual Studio 2022. I am going to create a project here, a web API project. I am giving scaffolding demo. Click next. I no need a HTTPS. I am not, not using controller. But I am using Swagger for the better UI purpose. I am using .NET Core 6.0. Click on create. So in this session, we will is automatically create the DB context, the scaffold context, and we will do how to do the operation also. So our application got created. My name is Solution Explorer and the folders properties. We have program.cs class. We have our endpoint swagger gen, builder build, swagger UI, and our map get weather forecast. It is randomly generating from this particular summary from last five days or next five days. Right? So if you run the application, Guys, if you are getting some background noise, please forgive this. And please don't try to skip the hours. Really, guys, I am trying to get some few amount or chunk of amount from the YouTube. So please don't skip the hours. So our application got run. So here we have weather forecast service. If you try it out, execute. So it is coming from next five days. So we are going to add our own model and we are going to add our own DB context and scaffolding by single, very few operation. So for that, I am going to add one model class, which will be adding a model property. So I'm giving DB models. In this folder, I am going to add a class which is let's I am giving product. Product table model. Okay, I am giving very easy name. So I have added these properties. So I am keeping the ID, GUID, it will be my key, name, category, price, and the stock quantity. Okay, I have added my model here. 
let's close all the file let's go to our solution explorer right click on solution explorer r here you can see new scap folder item right so we are going to add api here so in api mt controller read write action with action entity framework read write endpoint read write endpoint using entity framework we are going to use this one now click on r so it will ask for the model class so i am checking product table model endpoint i am giving a endpoint so it will be my product endpoint class now db context i will add a db context so in adding or it will ask me a db context name i am keeping as it is the application name click on r now click on add button so it will add the necessary new get packages and it will scaffold for me from this model so you can see you can just keep an eye on solution new folder will be added here so in our application one class has been added product endpoint class which is this one and one data folder which is cap holding demo context my application context which is creating my the db set in the endpoint class which is added here you can see particular let's so um, what is my api this is my get api to list with name this is my map get what is getting the product by id and it is my update it is my post create product table model we can change the api name also for now we are not using we are i'm not changing anything okay it is created a scaffolding demo context go to program.cs file so you can see here it is added builder.service.db context db context name builder.service.db context configuration demo context so get connection string so upsetting.json here you can see it is added local db scaffolding demo like this without touching anything let's run the application and we will see how much our application get modified So you can see so many APIs, get, so you get table model, post, so let's post data. So if we try it out post, so I am keeping a product name is desktop, category is hardware and price is 3000 and the stock quantity is 10. So I am keeping execute now. So you will see some error because there is the database particular connect connection is is wrong here and my database connection is different so my my database connection name is this one sir server name so let's see so you can see here it is getting a invalid operations use sql server like this so what i am going to do i am straightforward going to the application stop the running i am now going to change my server name database name i am changing from here to i am giving product data and just remove uid equal to so i am giving uid equal to my username sa and password equal to my password sql right so i am giving database name product data so if you go to my database name if you go to refresh here there is no product data in this database in this server so let's add that one so how we can go we can go to package management console okay here we can give our migration i am giving migration name as product mic1 so it will add a migration Okay, migration added. Now I'm keeping update in database. Guys, for this migration, I already created a video also. In this link, also in the video description, I'm keeping the link. 
you can check it out a separate video i created for migrations so you can see creating database context if you go to the solution explorer migration folder added everything go to the sql server upon this okay product data also created so you can see also created okay data product table model which we have created in our class let's run the application now and we'll see first get are working or not our product is created So let's run a query from this table. We have no data now. Run our applications. So go to the post. I am now keeping try it out. I am keeping desktop. execute and we are getting success then okay we got executed now change something here and i am going to add one more mouse price will be 100 stock quantity keeping as 10 execute right so if we go to here execute the statement we add it now if we go to the get statement so you have going to get product table model so execute you are getting this record same thing we forget put delete everything we, get, we are getting so in this way our dot net core cli can create db context scaffolded it and also within two command which in our package management console we are creating database and everything is up and running so there's the good reason to use dot net core for your application guys if you like my channel give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much